Hello, this is Vasvi from Atom Tuition. In this video, we are going to do few problems based on the conversion of solid from one shape to another. Here we have the first question where it states metallic spheres of radii 6 cm, 8 cm and 10 cm respectively are melted to form a single solid sphere. Find the radius of the resulting sphere. So here what they say is you have three spheres, three metallic spheres of different radius like 6 cm, 8 cm and 10 cm respectively. And these three spheres are melted to form a new bigger sphere, okay? One single sphere. They ask you to find what would be the radius of that resulting sphere. So what can we say about this? Volume of resulting sphere will be equal to volume of three smaller spheres because that is what we are going to melt to form this right those are melted to form a bigger one so let me apply the formula here we know the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 by 3 4 over 3 pi r cube okay the resulting since the resulting sphere is bigger one i put the capital r here r cube is equal to the volume of three smaller spheres so let me find the sum of the vo these volumes okay so that is the first one would be 4 by 3 pi 6 square right plus the next one is again 4 by 3 pi the next sphere's volume is 8 cube, not square, cube. Yeah, cube plus you have one more to do that is 4 by 3 pi 10 cube. Okay. So I can take here, I can take the common terms out. That is you have the 4 by 3 and the pi in common. You just take that out. So you are left with 6 cube plus 8 cube plus 10 cube okay and this side it is again 4 over 3 pi capital R cube this R is what we need to find out so what I do is this 4 over 3 4 over 3 on both side will get cancelled the pi would also get cancelled so you are left with R cube equals this side it is 6 cube is 216 8 cube, 8 cube is 8 times 8 times 8, so that's 64 times 8, 512 plus 10, 10 cube, that is 10 times 10 times 10, so that's 1000. So this will give you 1728 when you add them up. So this is your R cube, so your R would be equal to cube root of, okay, cube root of. 1, 7, 2, 8. Find the cube root of this and you are left with the answer 12 centimeters. Okay, because all are in centimeters. So, 12 centimeters. So, the radius of the resulting sphere is 12 centimeters. You have yet another problem here. A well of diameter 3 meters is dug 14 meter deep. Okay, say imagine this is the well. They say that the diameter is 3. So that is what is shown. The diameter of this well is 3 meters. So the radius would be half of it, right? So that would be 1.5, okay? The earth taken out of it has been spread evenly all around. So the earth which you get from by uh, uh, digging this well, the that is been uh, put around the well, okay? And uh, you, you have spread it around the well, well uh, in a circular sh ring shape. Okay, circular ring shape. So that means inside this it will be like two circles. Okay, uh, two concentric circles like. Inside this uh, smaller one there is, there, there is no earth. Okay, now. And the width is 4 meters. To form an embankment. Okay, the the this width, the width of the circular ring is four centimeters. Okay, and 
you are asked to find the height of this embankment. This height has to be found out. Okay. I would say that volume of the embankment would be equal to okay the mud which you are going to spread will be equal to the volume of mud you have taken out out, out of the cylindrical well right i write the formula here volume of circular ring is volume of outer circle subtracted by take away volume of inner circle okay so here the formula would be like pi I write with capital R, okay? R squared. The height is same for both the inner uh, cylinder and the outer cylinder. The height is same. So, I write the height. Take away. The inner volume is pi small r square h, okay? This will be equal to the volume of the earth you have taken it from the... So, I just write that as pi r1, okay? Just to make the difference. R1 is the this cylinder, cylinder, the radius of the cylinder and I write the capital H here, okay. So here I can take the pi and the H out, okay, common term I have taken out. So it is R square minus R square equals here it is pi and the radius of the well is Diameter is 3, right? So, the radius is 3 by 2 R square here. So, you can write it as 3 by 2 whole square. And what is the height given? Height is 14. Understood? Now, the pi and pi will get cancelled. Okay? So, this would be H equals R square. Here, the R is, just look at this picture. The diameter is 3, right? So, this radius would be 3 by 2. I take it as 1.5, okay? This is 1.5. So, the outer radius is 4 plus 1.5, okay? So, that's 5.5 squared H times 5.5 squared minus the inner radius is just 1.5, okay? 1.5 squared equals here it is 1.5 square times 14 that implies your h is the h times 5.5 uh, square is 30.25 okay take away uh, inner radius 1.5 square is 2.25 okay and this side it is 2.25 times 14 okay so this is 28 so you get your h 28h is equal to 2.25 times 14 so your h is equal to 2.25 times 14 and this 28 will come down right 28 so that's 1 and 2 here. So your height is 1.125 meters. Okay. That's all. Hope this is clear. I just repeat the radius of the embankment. Okay. Here they have given you the thickness as 4 meters. And you know that the diameter of the well is 3. So, the radius is going to be 1.5. So, the inner radius of the embankment will be 1.5. And the outer uh, radius will be 1.5 plus 4. And that is how it became 5.5. Okay. So, I hope this problem is clear. Let us move on to the third problem. Here, a farmer connects a pipe of internal diameter 20 centimeters from a canal into a cylindrical tank in her field, which is 10 meters in diameter and 2 meters deep. Okay, so the cylindrical tank's measure is given as 10 meters diameter and 2 meters the height. Okay, so this is from here to here, it is 10 meters. And this height is given as 
2 meters okay and this the diameter of the pipe is given as 20 centimeters now you are to calculate how much time will it take for the water to fill the tank okay and they say the water the speed of the water rate is 3 kilometers per hour okay so let me note down all this see this pipe is the this tip is circular shape right uh, diameter of pipe okay the pipe not the cylinder I am writing the pipe is equal to 20 centimeters so the radius of the pipe is equal to half of it so that's 10 centimeters so let me convert that into meters because the other measures are in meters so that implies 10 over 100 meters that is 0 0.1 meters okay so you got the radius of this small pipe now area of cross section of pipe okay since it is circular shape I can use the formula pi r square okay pi r square so that is nothing but pi r is 0 0.1 right square now this is the area of the cross section of pipe in meter square okay this is meter square I can write this as 0 0.01 right pi meter square now let me find out the volume of okay before going to the volume of water flown what I do is uh, here they have given you the speed right speed is equal to so let me do the calculation speed is given as 3 kilometers per hour right so when I convert it to meters and meters per minute it would be kilometers to meter you have to times it by thousand and hours to minutes if you are changing you have to divide by 60 right so just cancel this out you would get 50 so that would be 50 meters per minute okay we have got it in minutes now what I do is volume of water flowing let me find out the volume of water flowing okay 0 0.01 pi times 50 okay so that would be 0 0.5 pi meters per minute okay so it would have taken some say n minutes to fill in the tank okay so therefore volume in n minutes will be equal to 0 0.5 this is for one minute right per minute so for n minute I have to multiply this by n okay n now let me see uh, let us go to the tank okay tank is cylindrical in shape this times n n is here okay so this I will be equal to the uh, volume of tank right so flowing will be equal to volume of cylindrical tank okay so you get 0 0.5 pi times n you have n because that is for n minutes right will be equal to volume of cylinder you have the measures here your diameter is 10 so your radius is going to be 5 pi r square here r is 5 right so 5 square times 2 okay the pi and pi will get cancelled so you are left with n equals 25 times 2 divided by 0 0.5 so that is nothing but 100 minutes okay so it takes 100 minutes to fill in this tank 
when the water is for flowing through the pipe of this mesh okay hope this problem is also clear for you thank you for watching my video see you in the next class till then bye